So, you guys know I had a near-death experience like three years ago when I was in the hospital with the blood club. I was in a coma. I came home literally every night thinking I was going to... Because it's more than just physical. It was psychological. And with all the research I did, I believed I only had two years to live because of the mesh stent. Long story. My point is, I was down. And people really took advantage of that. The girl that was supposed to be watching me when I got out of the hospital that was staying in my apartment ran up tickets on my car, didn't tell me. Had the car crash, didn't tell me. Then she got so comfortable because I was so weak. <laughs> it was 30 pounds, couldn't walk. 30 pounds lighter. I was 30 pounds. To be continued. So the girl that was put in charge to take care of me told me, I'm going to take your car and go upstate for the weekend with a guy I met on Tinder. She didn't ask. She told me she was taking my car. <laughs> this is how people treat you when you're weak and you're down. They're not nice. They look at it as, an, as a come up, an opportunity to walk all over you. Bitch laying in bed half fucking dead. Lucky to be alive. She told me she's going to take my car. I told her to get the fuck out. You don't know how much I've dealt with in the last few years and why I've cut so many people off. Some people used me being in the hospital for attention, to, to get followers, to exploit me being in the hospital. Hey, I'm here for Chrissy. It's fucking foul. It's disgusting. depraved. Disgusting. When you... So when you come out of all of that, it took me a long time to get my mind right. Like, I was really paranoid. I started selling off all my belongings. I said, I don't need any of this, which I really don't. Because if something were to happen, it's, it's all materialistic junk. I didn't want a new car. A lot of things. So besides me just getting back out here and dating, which is a big step for me, I'm not looking for a man. The man God has for me will find me. I don't chase men. That's that's putting me in my masculine energy. So the man will find me. That's not even a big deal. But me just taking this step to get back out again has taken a lot. Because I was walking around in sweatpants and shit. Like me just doing my makeup and hair again has been a big step for me. Um, I've been looking at new cars again. Um, I'm going to be in Miami for the winter. I already got the place. So... All this to be, all of this being said, it's more than me just dating. It's the whole package. I lost my my hunger for you know getting out there. I've always been a go getter. I've always been a big money getter. Like all that went down the drain when I was in the ICU and all that. And you know that's normal. I'm not thinking about all that. But I'm going to live. I'm not. I, it, that was wrong. I didn't have two years to live. Like everything was false. And that was the devil trying to keep me down from progressing into being the best version of myself, which is where I'm headed. And all those fucking losers I cut off, it was meant to be because they can't go where I'm going. I'm going all the way to the top. I work hard. Everything is coming together, but God had to remove the trash before I could get there because those people would have done me dirty just like, just like they did when I was laying in that bed weak and helpless <laughs> I'm not helpless and weak anymore um, and you know God's going to put the right man in my life he's going to be my life partner he's going to be my husband he is going to be all about me he's going to take care of me no more fucking losers and all that I'm good just to pass the time I made a lot of mistakes but I have a lot more clarity now. So through all that bad is all this good. Opportunities coming. Back in my I'm back in motion, baby. And a lot of people don't like that. Oh, I've gotten some hateful fake pages. They hate me. They don't want to see me back outside. Guess what? Get fucking used to it. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> Better than ever. Hello.